double check, make sure they're yours. somebody packed it and left it behind at that point. Or whatever the story is. What you're seeing is a secret place, a city warehouse full of knickknacks and miscellaneous things. Apple watches? Oh wow, is this a Garmin? Let me show you. A kite. Thanks for letting me dig through this stuff. I find this absolutely fascinating. How many people now handle this stuff for the city? There are six of us right now. Chris and his crew sort it all out. Wow, you've got like high-end sunglasses in here. Yep, we get a lot of sunglasses. It's like Grand Central Station for Denver's lost and found. We don't have the space, we don't have the time. Yeah. Stuff's coming in all the time, so we are moving it. You have a very unique job. Absolutely. iPods, crutches, canes, baggage, a snowboard, Anything on any day shows up. Hey, wait a minute, look. These are the Ray-Bans I've heard about where you can actually record video through these Ray-Bans. Have you seen these before? We have. Uh -huh. These are expensive. When someone turns in a lost item, like a Louis Vuitton wallet or a wood stove, to a city agency, it will be held for 30 days per city rules. If unclaimed, items arrive here. I think miscellaneous would be my favorite category to go through. Yeah, me too. But there's a lot of low value stuff in there that you might not like. Watch. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Random. Yeah, random. Uh, this looks like bags to hold dog poop. Yep. <laughs> uh, stuffed carrot. The crew doesn't waste any precious time because it all has to go somewhere. We get a lot of jewelry. Yes, Rolexes. I just sold a Rolex for like fifty three hundred dollars. Wow, Rolex. Yep. Um, and the watch market right now is super hot. It is super hot, but they could be fakes too. So it is a difficult process to authenticate those type of things. So I imagine I'm taking a lot of your valuable time right now talking you are. to you. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you're going to buy something from us. If worthy, this stuff goes to an online auction where people bid and buy. The money goes to the city's general fund. What's fun about it? Uh, generating a lot of money for the city. Um, seeing all the new things that come in here. Your loss is Denver's gain. The city has already made half a million dollars this year. And then you get like a VR headset and the Oculus. Yep. This stuff is expensive. And then you got old school stuff. You got like a Game Boy Color. Look at that. And the place in the city of Denver where stuff is lost the most is right here in busy, bustling DIA. My name is Jeremy, I'm a reporter for Nine News, and I, I came here to Lost and Found because I, I'm looking for a story. Okay. Yeah, do you think there's a story back here? I think so. People lose so much stuff at Denver's airport. Lost and Found is Nora's full-time job. So I would say like the most common things would be like electronic cell phones, we get wallets, just bags, suitcases, backpacks sunglasses. Nora works deep down on DIA's first level. Good morning, how can I help you today? Oh, one of my wife's friends lost this uh, earring. I put my passport down on the ground and I think I just forgot to pick it back up. So it's up. somewhere down there on the ground. It's gotta be. Oh, Bringing unattended bags and suspicious behavior. No conspiracy or lizard people here. Items do have a way of showing up later and that way we can contact you if anything shows up. Just humans being human. Hi, right, can I just turn these in? What's that? Uh, uh, I was up past security. One time we did receive two small puppies. They were found in the garage and they were brought down to Lost and Found. They weren't sure what to do with them, but we eventually handed them over to Animal Control. Have you ever lost anything? I have not. You haven't? No. I think working here has made me aware. <laughs> it's a nonstop connection between DIA and the secret warehouse. How many items would you say come in from the Denver airport? We get 2,500 items approximately a week. A week? Every week. 2,500 items a week. Yeah, most of it's clothing. Yeah. But still, everything has to be gone through. So about four years ago, I lost a neck pillow at DIA. I'm wondering, did you come across that? Uh, we could have 
we, who knows? Who it knows? Was great. <laughs> it was great. It had like it could fit in a pouch. Ring a bell? Nah, not in particular, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> it could have happened. <laughs> I'm sure you got hundreds of those. <laughs> I used to play a long time ago, but I can't play that. Sorry about your ears. AirPods are some of the most commonly lost items at DIA. You got all these Apple AirPods. So a lot of those were loose, so we got to try to figure out right, left, what's the generation. It's like putting together a puzzle. Yeah, because a lot of times we don't get the case. So many case. items with unknown origins. What's the backstory with these vintage comics? Vinyl collectors will find this groovy. Did TSA stop a megalodon shark from swimming through security with sharp teeth? If you're old enough to know what this device is, there are plenty of readers for sale. <coughs> Elder millennials. A lot of things are they're just odd. I mean, microwaves and coffee machines and who brings appliances to the airport? I don't know, but they do. And then they lose them or leave them or whatever they do. You know, hookahs. And while we don't know how these items were lost, we do know one thing about every single one. How do you think someone could walk away from this or lose this? Well, we always hope they were healed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a miracle. <laughs> the airport performs miracles, yeah. yes. Someone so. did the right thing and turned it in. A real miracle for some. You even get tears sometimes, you know, they're just so happy, you know, that we have their items here, that people start crying because they're so grateful. <laughs>